I got you. Let me tell you what I saw last week. What are you doing? Making a rap video about what I sold last week. Why? <laughs> Burgundy Cells did it last week and it was awesome. I want to do it. Why don't you just tell them what you sold? Yo! What's up guys, this is Sam the Dapper Tiger. Thank you for tuning into the channel. Today, I'm gonna go over my what solds from last week. Okay, to kick off the week, I sold a gray champion Syracuse long sleeve tee. I sold that for $14. The buyer paid for shipping. Makari took $1.40 in fees and I spent $2 for the shirt, leaving me with a profit of $12.60. Then I sold a pair of Nike Jordan Grind 2s. I picked these up at Marshalls for 30 bucks. The buyer paid for shipping. I paid $5.30 in fees, making my net profit $17.70. Then I sold three Mickey Mouse um, Disney puzzles. I sold them for $36 each. Makari took $3.60. I spent $13 per puzzle, leaving my net profit $19.40 times three is $58 and 20 cents. Say what? I was really shocked when I sold these Adidas Ultra Boost. They were in really bad shape. I was new when I picked these out at thrift stores. They had cracks in the soles. There were stains all over the place. It took a lot of cleaning and shoe repair. So I just sold these $20 free shipping just to get it out of my inventory. So I paid $4.99 for shipping. Makari took $2 in fees and I spent $4 for this pair of shoes, making my net profit $9.99. This next sale surprised me the most and these were these men's Nike Mercurial Victory cleats. I sold them for $26. Makari took a fee of $2.60. I paid $5 for these at a church thrift, leaving me a net profit of $8.40. Then I sold a Sony Sport Walkman plus a blank tape. I sold it for $24. Makari took $2.40 in fees. I paid $5 altogether for everything. This leaves me a net profit of $16.60. Then first thing yesterday, I sold a Josh Jacobs Premier Jersey 2019 Prism card. I put that up for $12. The buyer paid for shipping. I paid $1.20 to Makari in fees, leaving me a net profit of $10.80. I also sold a pair of Adidas NMDs. I picked these up as a retail arbitrage. They were 20 bucks. I actually made a mistake on these. This was listed very early on and I forgot to take off free shipping. <laughs> So I ended up paying the $4.99 in shipping. Makari took $4.10 in fees. Overall, that leaves me a net profit of $16.90. I also sold this Microsoft Flight Simulator X game. I actually picked this up on Facebook Marketplace months ago. It was free. Somebody left it at the door of the porch pickup. So I have nothing into this except for a little gas money. Sold it for $20. I offered free shipping. It was $4.99 plus $2 for Makari fees. This leaves me a net profit profit of $13.01. Okay, I also sold this vintage pen pure monofilament fishing reel. I actually saw this inside the glass case at a Goodwill. It was up for $10. I had this in my store for almost a month and a half now. I sold it for $33. The buyer's paying for shipping. I paid $3.30 in Macari fees. After cost of goods, I made a net profit of $19.70. I'm sure some of you guys are saying, but Sam, what about all the video games you keep showing on Instagram? How come you're not showing those? Hey, what happened? Well, let me tell you. So I sold this PS3 controller. This was from my last video from my Uncle Ricky pickup. I sold this for $2. I obviously got this for free. I paid Macari $2 in fees, making a net profit of $18. I also sold a Nintendo Wii wheel plus a copy of Mario Kart for the Nintendo Wii. I got this free helping my friend move his parents out a couple weeks ago, so that was nice. I picked this up at a Goodwill for $2. 
So naturally, I lumped them together. So I sold this for $39 and the buyer paid for shipping. Makari took a total of $3.90 in fees, including the $2 I paid for the game. My net profit is $33.10. And then I sold this Aerosmith Guitar Hero controller for the Nintendo Wii. Naturally, I bundled the guitar with these two games. It's Guitar Hero World Tour and Guitar Hero 3 Legends of Rock. So the buyer paid $52 plus shipping. I paid Makari $5.20 in fees, and I spent $8 on everything here. So my net total is $36.80. Okay, the most painful sale this week was this Pokemon Black for the Nintendo DS. It's brand new sealed. I actually got this a couple years ago helping somebody move out. They didn't want any of their video game stuff, so I just had it. And I found it again. Everybody put your hands in the air. I sold this for $60. Makari took a fee of $6, leaving me a net profit of $52. And you're thinking, well, Sam, you made 52 bucks. What's the big deal? Well, I failed to comp this on Amazon. Bruh. I looked on eBay. I didn't really see anything that great. Once you break this wrapper, it's only a $20 game. But when I looked at Amazon, the listing is $110. Not only did this sell within five minutes, it followed up with messages from three separate people asking if I had any more of these sealed Pokemon games. So lesson learned, don't just stick to comping on eBay and Macari. Amazon has some good value too when it comes to comping. So this is my favorite sale so far. It's season one of The Adventures of Pete and Pete on Nickelodeon. This hands down was one of my favorite shows growing up as a kid. Anybody who's a 90s child knows what I'm talking about. Hey, and if you like Pete and Pete, don't forget to hit the thumbs up. And if you're not, subscribe and throw a comment down below. Let me know what your favorite childhood show was. So overall, I made a gross profit of $563 in sales but my net profit was $307.69. These were all Macari sales. All right guys, thanks for watching. Hopefully you took something away from the video today. I hope you guys enjoyed the skit in the beginning. And until next time, peace.